Hey friends, Green Crown and I had an amazing time in France. I know, France, right? Um, we went to see works by the artist Ari Mati. Uh, we say Henry Matisse, um, and who lived to be 84 years old. He's a French artist and he was known for his color and decorative patterns in his artwork. He was a draftsman, he was a printmaker, he was a sculptor, and of course he was a painter. Uh, and he was what they called one of the Fobs. Fobs is French for wild beasts because back in the day he was the guy that went beyond um, who thought outside of the box and he wasn't very traditional with his paintings and people thought they didn't get it. They really didn't get it. Um, so here came the name Fobs, a wild beast. And he is recognized for his work for over, get this, 50 T years, five zero. That's a long time of doing art. Uh, and he is what they call the leading figure for modern art. And when he was about 72 years old, okay, serious face now. When he was about 72 years old, he was diagnosed with abdominal cancer um, and he had surgery and it was not very successful. Um, and it left him chair and bed bound. He had no use of his legs. Um, he couldn't move around by, on his own. He needed an assistant to help him. But that did not stop him from doing his art. Uh, he had his assistant help him. Um, they would paint large sheets of paper. And then he would use scissors, you know, like a regular pair of scissors. Um, and that gave birth to what we call drawing with scissors. And he would cut beautiful images of fishes, birds, vegetation, anything that was around him. And so we are going to do our version of Ari Matisse's The Cat with Red Fish. It looks like this. The Cat with Red Fish. And this is really recommended for our friends uh, third to fifth. But if you are K to two and you would love to try this, please click on that video. Um, for K to two friends, or if you are the third to fifth and you would love to do this version of Cat with Red Fish, only we took away the cat, so it's just called the fish bowl. Fish bowl looks something like this. And I will see you on the drawing board. Hey friends, today we're going to do our version of Ari Matisse's The Cat with Red Fish. And we're going to do a drawing version. Uh, for those of you who are at home and you have paints available, you can do a painted version. Um, we're just going to stick to our drawing materials for today's class. Um, you can use either crayons, markers, markers, or color pencils, or a combination of those. Uh, you will need a pencil, an eraser, and a black marker, or a black sharpie, or a black color pencil, or a black crayon to help you do some of the outlining. Alright, so let's clear the board. And the first thing I want to do is create, um, figure out where my window is. So in the original image, the cat with red fish, the window was actually mostly on the left side of the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my window in. And I'm going to draw light because I'm definitely going to be doing some erasing. And I'm going to do a double line because my window actually has a really nice thick um, outline. I'm going to have to erase. so. Don't worry about it. Um, through my window, you can actually see the outside and there's a horizon line that happens outside with some little hills. And there's a little part of a sun that sticks out somewhere. You can do the sun however you want to do it. I'm just going to create this that tells me that's the sun. I'm going to outline a lot of these so you can see it a lot better when we're done. Okay, friends? Okay, so um, in the drawing itself, there is so space between the window and the connecting wall. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that line. And I'm going to bring that line all the way down to my page. Okay, and now I'm going to create the table that has the fish bowl with the goldfish and the cat sitting on it. Okay, so my table is going to have like an oval shape. And the angle that you see, you can only see three legs. So I'm going to do one leg, two legs, and three legs. And now I'm going to put my 
fishbowl. And again, we're going to be doing some erasing. So some parts of these lines are going to disappear. So you create the illusion that the fishbowl is in front of your window. So I'm going to do an oval. Let's draw an oval right here. And bring two lines vertically down from our oval. And the connecting line that connects these two vertical lines are going to be almost in the same direction as this. So it's what we call parallel line. So it's going to be parallel to this top line. Okay. And just for now, I'm going to erase that inside part of my fishbowl. You'll probably still see it, but just so you don't get confused. So now it looks like our bowl is in front of the window. And let's draw our cat. So our cat, let's start off with his head. So he's almost got like a circle for a head. He's a curious cat. And then he's got one ear facing down, two ear facing down. Let's make that inside a little more. Okay. And he's got a little nub right there and one slit, two slits. And the angle of your cat is that he's looking into the fishbowl. So here is one paw, and we want to have this paw sitting on the table. And then we're going to bring this paw all the way up till about here. Let's do the second paw. And actually, let's bring this up a little more. I'm going to bring this oval just down a little bit because I want the paw to look like it's going inside of the fishbowl. So this paw is going to go this way. It's going to go inside the fishbowl. Okay. And this line is going to go up here and now it's going to curve towards the back. So cats, when they're very curious, most times their backs are arched. So this looks like a high back of the cat and it comes around this way. And then let's draw his tail. So his tail looks like it's in front of the window. And as it comes back here, we're going to make it disappear right there. And it's actually his arm, the paw that's inside of the fishbowl is in front of the other leg. So the other leg is disappeared behind there. It looks a little bit confusing, doesn't it? I know, I agree too. All right, so right about here, we want to show viewers that the fish is in a bowl because right now it just looks like an empty bowl. So we want to create the water line. So we're going to create the water line and then we're going to create the back part of the water line so it almost looks like an extra oval. It'll make sense when we start adding color what this all looks like, okay? And let's, um, let's do our fish. So we got an oval and we have a little tail almost like a triangle little triangle, little triangle, little circle. You can draw your fish this way. You can make your fish look realistic. I'm just going to stick to this. I like my fish to look a little animated. Ari Mati does his fishes uh, with a little animation. I'm going to change the direction of this fish. I want him to face this way. Okay. And um, he is known, Ari Mati is known for patterns, decorative patterns. So we need the floor because right now our table looks like it's floating in the air. So let's draw a line that looks like it disappeared through there. We'll erase this line. And let's do our rug. So our rug has these cool zigzag, what we call chevron looking lines. So we're going to do our zigzag or chevron lines all the way through.
and smaller friends if you want to stay here and you can just do that that's fine you don't actually have to put the cat on the table if you wanted to draw your kitty cat um, sitting on the rug you can do that as well um, I just put him up here just for placement um, and let's go ahead and decorate the rest of our wall so he had these Ari Muti had these really cool decorative patterns that happen all over the wall and a pattern is something that repeats itself um, the shape can happen over and over the color can happen over and over um, that's what a pattern is that you know that it's going to happen and I believe in the original drawing there was like a little picture somewhere behind the cat okay let us get our sharpie and start outlining and adding color what's outlining the cat so you guys can see where the cat stands you want to outline the outside lines not the inside lines Cat. And here's our fish bowl. Now we're gonna add the water level. Okay, and our outline of our fish. Fish is, I should say. And you can vaguely see the back leg kind of perched up there. Oh, and it's a leg. Let's do this fourth leg. This fourth leg is actually on the table. Okay, and let's outline our table. So when you get to here, because you don't want it to be really super confusing, I'm not gonna add outline. When I add color, you'll see something change right here. So there's gonna be a little line that disappears here. Um, watch out for that line when I come back when I add color. My horizon, my mountains, the sun. My window still. Picture. Wall. Okay, and now we're all ready for color. So you can mix and match your. Um, your color pencils with your crayons, um, whatever you prefer. I am going to be doing that, same thing. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my cat and then I'm going to go out. So my cat is actually a yellow cat and I want to color it inside so it appears that it's inside of the fishbowl but it's not actually in the fishbowl. Um, what happens when you look through a glass is that you can see color whatever happens on the outside of your glass um, but it's a little bit hazy you can't quite see the full color it's not quite as defined as everything else but it's still there so there's my cat and just to help create the illusion that a little bit of haze is happening I'm going to add a little orange so you can see that part and I'll add some orange to his front paw the one that's in the fishbowl and a little orange on the tail you don't have to do that I just like to be extra and let's go ahead and add our water and our fish because the title actually says red fish the only thing that should stay the same is your red fish I forgot about the fishes the cat's head in there and on this side of the cat, I'm going to put a little green, so it just shows a little bit of reflection. Uh, if the cat is yellow, and the water is blue, and the, water, the light from the water is bouncing back towards the cat, then really his fur should have like a little bit of green because it's yellow and blue and green. Okay, um, let's do a dark table. Actually, we forgot something. There were a couple of fruits sitting on the table. There was an orange, and three lemons. And I'm going to use my black marker and do these little dots, and these dots are called stippling, and it just creates that texture look. You don't have to add that in. on the glass in the back, lots of green. Okay. And for the most part, the floor was red and so was the wall. Um, with blue decorative patterns, so I'm going to go ahead and add in a pattern now, fill in color. And the picture had almost like an orange fill color in it, so we'll just add orange. And there was a little bit of orange on the window, the frame of the window, so most of the window was yellow as well, just like a cat. And so let's use our crayons for the rest of this. So right through the bowl, you would see um, the red wall, almost. And filling up water here, also blue.
In Hold On, it's the same color red, but we're just gonna press a little bit darker color red. Okay, and remember in the beginning I told you uh, we would come back and so that you can understand how this dynamic works. So we're going to um, outline, we will not use that, we will use our black color pencil to create the illusion that we are continuing with the window. The black is going to create the illusion that it's, you can still see it, but it's not quite as clear as the black Sharpie that happens. Okay, so when we add color, because I used marker for my yellow here, I'm going to use a crayon and not press quite as dark. So you can see it kind of disappear in the back. And the same with my grass, because a little part of my grass is coming through there. And that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and add in our mountains. Add color to our mountains. We need a sky. And add our yellow to our sun. All right, friends, there you have it. Ari Matisse's The Cat with Redfish. Thank you so much for joining me doing these lessons today. I had such an amazing time with you. Um, the fish bowl or The Cat with Redfish was equally as enjoyable. Uh, friends, remember Ari Moti, Ari Moti was 84 years old um, and he was a French artist known for his bold use of color in decorative patterns. He was a draftsman, a printmaker, a sculptor, and a painter, and he was what they called a fauve or a wild beast. Um, and he was recognized for his work for over 50 years. That's a long time. Um, and he is really the guy, the brilliant mastermind behind creating what we call collage now. And this happened after he um, was chair and bed bound um, from being diagnosed with abdominal cancer. Um, and he didn't let that stop him from creating artwork. He painted uh, sheets of paper with gouache. Um, and use scissors to cut. Um, he drew basically with his scissors. Um, and then he stuck them on walls. He had his assistant help him or he stuck them on different surfaces. Um, and that be what we call collage. All right, friends, I had an amazing time with you today. I hope you stay safe and I will see you next week.